Have you ever wondered what the power infrastructure of a data center looks like and how all the components fit together? Well, look no further. In this video, I'm going to show you the entire power infrastructure that we have at Severius. So first, we start with our server. The server is powered by a PSU or power supply unit. The PSU delivers the power to the right components like your motherboard, your CPU or even an SSD. Some servers even have two PSUs installed. This is to provide redundancy to the server. If one power input happens to fail, the other one can easily take over. The PSU is connected to the PDU or power distribution unit. It is connected via a C13 to C14 cable. Every PDU that we have here at Severius have a few power sockets, a C13, Shuko and C19. Now we have the server connected, but unfortunately the PDU doesn't create electricity by itself. For that we will have to take a look at the start. So here we are at the transformer. Here we receive the electricity from the power grid. It comes from two sides, again to provide redundancy. The transformer also converts 10 kV to 400 volts. The transformer also creates three feeds called feed A, B and C. Again, for redundancy. So we have actually two ways to get power into the data center. First is our main feed or the power grid, as I just showed you guys. And second, we have our generators. They are here in case of a total power outage. Those two sources are coming into our main divider and the main divider routes it to the UPS or uninterruptible power supply. Essentially, they are really big batteries that will take over if there is a power outage. They act as a sort of bridge between the power grid and the generators. They also make sure that the power that goes to your server is always equal, so they prevent power dips. After the UPS, the electricity is routed to our subdivider. The subdivider makes sure that every individual rack has their own power lines. And to see where that is, we will have to go under the floor. Here we have our subdividers. You can compare them to your breaker box that you have in your house. Beneath the floor, we will also find the power plugs that your PDU will be plugged into. Here we see a PDU in action. This one is connected to one of the power feeds. And on the other side of the rack, we have another PDU in action connected to a different power feed. So, if I have to sum up this video, I think it's safe to say it's redundancy all the way. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let us know and follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube. If you have any questions, you can always ask me directly via the socials in the description.